hardly anything left. There we go. We've been trying to find a way into Willow Lake for 20 minutes. That's right, sir. All the roads are blocked. That's right. Don't serve me. We have to get to the lake. My brother's in there. There's been a fire, sir. There's no civilian access until we can make sure that the fire's under control and that it hasn't taken hold in trees. A brush fire? A summer cabin. A cabin? My brother has a cabin. It's right inside the woods here. We know he's been staying there. Somebody has to bring him out to safety. Are you idiots listening to me? No, Adam, Adam don't. This is, this is not the time. Move the roadblock or I'll drive through it. Sir, get back in your vehicle and turn around. Fine. I'll move oh, it. No, no, wait, no, Adam. Don't. 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 Idiot. Idiot, please. Stick your hands off me. I have to get to my brother. I have to get to Stuart. Adam, Adam please calm, calm down. down. If you keep acting this way, they're going to arrest you. Is I, that what you want? I have to get to my brother. Listen, listen, guys, take it easy on him, okay? His brother's been missing for 48 hours. Now, we got word he might be up at the cabin. He just wants to go in there and make sure he's all right. That's it. Go on me, you idiot. Adam, shut up. Just let somebody else handle it, all right? Who, you? You're the reason we're standing here, Martin. Adam, please, if you keep acting this way, you're not going to get what you need. Now, please, if you, if you just release him, I, I'm sure he'll calm down and everything will be fine. Please. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Gentlemen, I just want to get into the woods to find my brother, to find out that he's safe, that I he's all right. Understand. We're just not authorized to clear anyone through until we know that it's safe. It's not going to be safe until I can find my brother. Adam, don't. Are you okay? He's having trouble breathing. He's got this terrible asthma. Would, do you have an inhaler with you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's having trouble breathing. Loosen the tie. Are you okay? Can you exhale? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just take some short breaths. Get the button. The post. Shallow breath. No, it's okay. If I if I can talk, it'll be better. Okay, they're sending an ambulance. It's all right. I, I'll be okay, really. Thanks. Hey, where'd the other guy go? Who lost it about his brother? Oh, my husband went to go get Tad help. There was an ambulance right down at the end of the dirt road. I'm sure he'll be right back. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, we've got an unauthorized individual in the fire zone. Copy? Um, maybe you shouldn't help anymore. Let me handle it. brother's house. He was here. How'd this happen? We don't know that yet. Look, you cannot be here. This is not a safe area. We, we were, were twin brothers. We, he, he, we look, he looks exactly like me. He was here. When we got here, this place was empty and on fire, all right? Okay, now look, just come with me, okay? We'll take you down to the squad leader. You can contact the Forest Service. We'll find your brother. I can't leave here. That was not my brother. Listen to me. No one is here. No one could have gotten past the troopers down there. My children will be back in a moment here on ABC. Oh, man, look at this place. Thank you for bringing us up here, John. It'd be a mess, too, if it were someone in my family. I guess I understand now. Where's Adam? I haven't heard of it. Oh, no. Adam! What, what happened? He tore in there before we could stop him. The place is unstable. A beam fell. Oh, no. No, he said... Stuart wasn't in there. He wasn't inside. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, there's no sign of him. There's nothing. Is that true? No. I didn't see anything. It was pretty badly burned up in there. No way to tell. A lot of fallen beams. Thank you. 
I used to teach Stuart what to do in case of a fire. What I, when we were kids, just kids, I warned him and, and, and showed him if if he was in there, he got out. I know he did. I know. It's time, Jeff. Liza, I'm going to call in my private security team, have them scour the woods, see if they can find any sign of Stuart. Adam, I, I just want you to sit down and just relax, just for a minute. The, better yet, you make the call. Tell them you want one full team, and I'll start the search myself. Oh, Adam, please don't do it. Liza, please don't do what everyone else is doing and telling me what, telling me I can't do this. I, I, I have to do it. I have to find Stuart. I have to make things right with him. I have to bring him home. Look at me. I'm nothing without him. He's the other half of me, the half, the half that I need to go on living with. Stuart is, is in such pain right now. He needs me too. He relies on me, even though he doesn't have any use for me at the moment. I just have to find him. I have to find him before he, before he hurts himself. Before the hate takes hold of him. Stuart doesn't know how to hate, Adam. He does now. I taught him. Where's he going? He's going into the woods to search for Stuart. He's desperate, Dad. What's this? You can't come in here. This is a restricted Can area. The camera crew get in here. Is that one of ours? No. You should come here. Tommy, roll it. We've got a body. I, I thought you said there was no... We found it under the debris. Ma'am. Who is it? We can't tell. But when we lifted up the remains... We found this. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. This is Diane Sanders with an exclusive report from Willow Lake, where a fire has apparently taken the life of Stuart Chandler, twin brother of Adam Chandler. Stuart had been missing for two days. Tragically, the search ended here in All right, that's it. Canada. You're Let shut down go. and you're coming with me. With Diane Sanders and now back to the studio. Are you sure, Stuart? It has uh, the date to 14.99. My mother put it on his hand and he never took it off and... Thank <laughs> you. 